Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the process of uploading a GPX file to your Garmin Instinct smartwatch. So I like to get my GPX files from AllTrails. They're pretty reliable, they have a good variety and a pretty large database. So basically you find the trail or the map that you like, open it up and click on download GPX file. Uh, it can, it will go to your downloads folder. From there, we have to open a, a new tab and go over to Gmail, compose a new message, and essentially what we're going to do is just attach it and mail it to ourselves so that this way we can actually open up the email on our phones. All right, now that that has been sent, let's go over to the app. Uh, you can download the Garmin Connect app for free uh, from the App Store. I already had it downloaded, so essentially right now it's just uh, updating. Once it's updated, uh, we're going to go ahead and head over to the app, open it up, make sure it looks good, and then we're going to go to email and open the message that we just sent to ourselves. You want to make sure that your phone is paired with the watch. All right, right there, I've got a good connection sign. Syncing is working successfully. Once you know that your watch and phone are paired, let's get out of this app and head over to uh, our mail. As you can see, I've got my message right there. Let's download the attachment and then click on the share button on the top right. We're going to choose the Garmin Connect app from here. Tap on the trail running option. You can also change the terrain. Uh, this is optional, but I like to do it. Tap done, and there you go. You have your course. Uh, it's labeled the March 14th here, which is the day that it was created. From here, we're going to tap the three dots on the top right and send to device. We're going to choose the instinct. If you have multiple devices, multiple will show up, but I've only got one. All right, and now that the option has been set, we actually have to sync the watch to make sure that it downloads. Otherwise, it's going to be there, but not on the watch yet, because you actually have to make that Bluetooth transmission happen. And there we go. The sync is in progress, and we're all set. So uh, now that this is good, uh, what I'm going to do is actually show you guys what it looks like on the day of the hike and how to get the course started on your watch. So you'll get the hike option by tapping the GPS button. And then from the GPS button, you're going to go down the options to open up courses. Choose the course, which is the March 14th one that I created. Yours will be obviously different. And from there, start the course. You also have the option of doing the course in reverse, or you can delete the course, you can edit the name. Basically, you, you get a few options here. But essentially, once you tap do course, you'll get a little map, and you'll be able to do your uh, hike navigation just by taking a glance at your wrist. Really powerful option. That sums it up, guys. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.